Hello all, welcome to qfox.com. This is Arun Motori. In this Selenium Automation Tutorial Series, I am going to explain the topic Predict Sites for Learning Selenium. So, I am going to list out all the predict sites that are required for understanding or learning Selenium. So, before you start learning Selenium, you should be ready with these predict sites that I am going to mention in these slides. Fine. So, guys, basically, I categorized these predict sites into two types in this particular session. So, one is basic type, and other is like add-on or advanced type. Okay. So, first, let me start listing down the basic predict sites that are required for learning or understanding Selenium. So with this understanding of these different predict sets that I have listed down here, you will be in a good position to get started with Selenium for sure. Okay. And, but there are some other predict sites other than this basic predict sites, but they may not be immediately required for you to learn before starting Selenium. But whatever the predict sites that I have mentioned in this current slide will be enough for you to understand and get started with Selenium guys. So these are the different basic predict sites that you need to learn before you start learning or understanding Selenium guys. So first thing is that software testing basics. The first thing that you need to know is software. You should have some basic knowledge of software testing guys. That is a very first basic predict site for this learning of Selenium. Then second one is you should also have a basic knowledge of what actually an automation testing is. This is a second predict site. Then you should have some basic HTML knowledge. You should at least understand what are HTML tags, right? Uh, like the structure of HTML, how the web page can be created with the help of HTML. Those basic guys, you don't have to be an advanced person in any of these three things like software testing. You should not, you may not be advanced, but at least you should have some basic knowledge for automation. Also, you should have some basic knowledge. I'm not saying you should be an advanced user in automation testing concepts, right? So whatever the things that I have listed in this first three points, software testing basics, automation testing basics, HTML basics, everything is like basics guys. You don't have to be an advanced uh, understanding on these things okay you should have at least basic knowledge of these things that will be enough then fourth is locators okay locators locators may be a very new topic for you okay so i will be covering guys don't worry i will be covering all these predict sites which are required for understanding or learning selenium in the upcoming series of the this video sessions okay till then just understand that these are the predict sites before i explain actual selenium first i will cover all these predict sites for you guys once you are comfortable only i will move to the next video series fine so locators are also something that are required for selenium guys okay it will make your job easier via for understanding selenium commands and all those stuff so what are locators at a high level let me give a high level statement for locators guys locators will help selenium in identifying the ui elements on the web pages on the web pages, we may have something like buttons, checkbox options, radio options, text box field, text area fields, text, headings, labels, like that many things are will be there on the web pages. And those web those things we call as web elements. Okay, web elements on the web pages. So Selenium is by default blind, guys. It cannot actually uh, see those things. Like it cannot actually see a button. It cannot uh, Selenium cannot actually see. Uh, whether that thing is a radio option or something like that. Okay, whatever it is Selenium is by, by default blind But with the help of locators with the help of uh, locators Selenium can locate the required UI elements on the web pages Okay, with the help of Selenium for example Selenium with the help of locators can locate a button and perform operation on it just uh, Just don't go too much depth at this uh, point of time guys because this is very initial sessions you should not it's not actually required for you to understand the locators concept in detail. Anyhow, in the upcoming sessions, I'll be covering all these predict sites one after the another before we actually start selling it. So don't mind and uh, don't worry much about that. Coming to the next one is Core Java. 
core java as you already know so most of the people uh, would have done this core java in their uh, engineering time like btech or bachelors of technology whatever we call the degree during that uh, period uh, most of the people may have some understanding of core java right as part of the their education they would have already studied core java but in these sessions you you need to only learn core java guys you don't have to go for advanced java for selenium okay core java programming like uh, basic programming stuff will be enough guys right so like from variables to collection framework uh, and all those stuff those things will be enough but don't worry if you have forgotten or uh, like uh, it's been a while you worked on core java just don't be don't worry much i'll be first explaining core java before actually i start selenium in the upcoming sessions wherever we go core java will be first covered guys then once you are com comfortable with core java in the upcoming sessions uh, where i explain all this core java then only we'll go for the selenium stuff okay just all these prerequisites that i am listing here will be covered in the upcoming sessions for sure and uh, then the last one the basic which which comes under the basic prerequisites list for learning or understanding selenium is eclipse ide for writing your program for creating the programs for writing the programs or developing the code automation code which uh, along for this selenium or java you need an editor guys somewhere you need to write your code right so eclipse ide is the most most used editor in the market most of the people will use okay so uh, all the kinds of people like uh, advanced people to like many people in the market actually prefer eclipse ide so it's a very simple one when compared to the like it's not very basic or neither it is not advanced so in between it somewhere it is there so that it will be very easy for the people to uh, actually get started with eclipse id in an easier manner okay that's why most of the people in the market uh, choose eclipse id all the solutions every, everyone will provide on the web everything will be there on eclipse id only guys most of the cases it will be on eclipse id so that's why i'm choosing an advanced editor like eclipse id uh, but this is a predict side guys even how to install the eclipse id how to use it how to actually uh, like write this automation code inside eclipse id or along with the java programs inside this eclipse id don't worry anything about that thing guys okay it's just a predict side whenever the time comes or time approaches we will be definitely covering all these predict sides in our future sessions of this selenium automation series tutorial series fine so now let's move to the next part guys now let's move to the next part which i was already mentioning apart from the basic predict sets that are required for you to get started with selenium okay there are other predict sets guys once you are done with the basic predict sets and uh, once you have started uh, working on selenium automation already okay there may be some situations where you have to move to some advanced concepts in selenium okay you may have to touch various advanced topics in selenium so for that case guys you don't have to directly worry about this okay you don't have to get started with all these things okay in future when you are already comfortable with selenium after learning all the basic prerequisites and then getting started with selenium there may be a time where you have to explore more things in selenium right you have to explore more things in selenium so in that process you may come across this kind of prerequisites guys okay these are the different other predict sets it's like a added advantage kind of predict sets that if you learn these things you will move into more advanced concepts of selenium that nothing more than that guys this will not stop you from starting learning selenium but when you are at the when you want to move to the advanced stages of selenium you may have to learn these things on the go okay on the go whenever there is a need then you have to learn them and then implement them in the advanced concepts of selenium that's it guys so what are the other predict sets which will help you in learning the advanced concepts in selenium so here are the list guys here are the list here is the list first one is javascript basics you should have some javascript basics then dom document object model okay so basically we generally use this dom and javascript basics together so i will explain that later in the future videos for now understand that for advanced sessions javascript basics and document object model are required followed by sql basics are required okay you may have to connect to the database and run few sql queries okay based on your need for performing the database testing in selenium 
so that's why i am saying all these things are the advanced concepts in selenium guys wherever they are required you have to learn all these things then css so one of the locator concept where css will be used so it's okay to learn css uh, to make it more comfortable for you and xpath is another language okay which is also part of the locators guys okay if you learn it, it will be, it will be more useful for you on the go then xml and json are few things uh, like added kind of advantages if you learn them guys these four are the added advantages if you learn these things it will be more useful like uh, you can be more uh, sure of what actually you are doing okay so all these things that i have listed down here will form as a predict sets for advanced concepts okay if you want to learn advanced concepts in selenium you may have to go through all this other predict sets which will help you in learning the advanced concepts of selenium so don't worry guys uh, as i already said now i have completed telling you what are the different uh, predict sets that are required for you to learn selenium in complete one is like basic predict sets i explained to get started with selenium other one is advanced uh selenium concepts learning which actually need other type of predict sets to achieve them right there are two types i already explained so now guys uh, i only focus on basics now okay first because we are in the beginning stages of this tutorial series of videos so where you don't have to worry about the advanced predict sets right so what i am doing is so i have listed down here some links okay some uh, tutorial links blog links you can say so for example if you have to understand the basic software testing basics okay software testing basics this comes under the basic predict sets for learning selenium guys okay all the things that i am going to list down now comes under the basic predict sets for learning or understanding selenium the first thing is software testing basics so these are all the blog post links guys where you can understand what is software testing what is manual testing what is automation testing or test automation what is mock testing what is regression testing what is functional testing these things will be enough for you to uh, like uh, get some knowledge on what actually software testing basics are okay so don't worry guys i will be providing all these uh, urls or page uh, urls in the description of this video okay in the description of this video i will be providing all these references for you so you can click on them you can study them before actually you start learning selenium okay so the first predict side basic predict side that is software testing basics is now fine with you next one automation basics so you should have some automation testing basics before you actually start working with selenium right this is also another basic predict side for learning or understanding selenium so it also has a i also providing the a url or reference url okay this will also be available in the description of this video so you can actually check it and just learn it okay before you actually start working on selenium then we'll move to something known as html basics this is a third basic predict site for learning or understanding selenium so for this one also i am providing a reference okay this reference will be there in the description of this video you can click it and you can go through this html basics you can implement them and then you will be ready for learning selenium okay basically this html basics will help you more in understanding the locators guys without having the knowledge on this html basics if you directly go to the locator concepts okay it will be a bit difficult for you to understand those locator concept but having in the knowledge of the html basics will make your path easier that's why html basics are required next one is locators guys so there are different type of locators i don't want to mention what are they but these locators are one of the basic predict sets for learning or understanding selenium so they form the basic pillars for your understanding and implementing the selenium in the upcoming sessions so it's better that we have to learn locators before we actually start with selenium so for locator also i am giving a reference link this reference url link will be available in the description of this video you can go through that practice and get ready for selenium next one is core java so for core java core java is also a basic predict set it is a backbone guys you can say that it is a backbone for selenium backbone for selenium not only core java guys in market there are different uh, programming languages that are supporting selenium okay like python is there ruby is there c sharp is there okay like that many programming languages can be used for implementing selenium or learning selenium 
but guys i suggest everyone to start with core java if they have if they don't have any urgent requirement for learning selenium right if they don't have any urgent requirement for learning selenium core java is the best one because everyone in the market is explaining all the stuff in terms of core java so you will get complete knowledge guys suppose you have taken another language for learning uh, selenium i don't want to name that language but it may be any other language other than java so you may face some difficulties guys while learning in the learning phase when no one is supporting you it will be very difficult for you to get started with other programming languages for selenium because in the web there are very less answers or very less support will be or very less help will be provided to you when you face any problems while working with other languages and selenium but coming to core java and selenium okay while you are working on if you are getting any issue or any error if you are trying to get a solution for this particular thing on the web immediately you will get solutions guys everyone will suggest you the things or help you with core java first guys later only other programming languages will come into picture that is the reason i suggest everyone if they are very be new beginners and uh, uh, very new beginners and uh, they want to learn in a easier manner okay if they are not in a hurry of uh, uh, fulfilling a, fulfilling a specific requirement for a client or so in that case guys core java is the best option for you where you can get started learning core java and selenium together so guys so since core java is a basic predict sets and is a major predict set for uh, learning or understanding selenium okay so here i have given a reference url of a page where you have all the java related blog posts okay lot of things are there guys lot of things this is this looks like a single url but if you go to this visit this particular page you see a number a good number of articles where all the basic core java has been explained from the base okay from a b c d to the mastery level everything that is everything that is related to java uh, for selenium is listed down there you can go through all this blog posts which are mentioned in this page and then get ready for learning selenium guys finally the last one is eclipse ide guys so we have to write our program somewhere right we have to automate our script somewhere and once you have written some program you should have something to execute also okay you have to run it so that you can see the results of what whatever the code you have written if you have to see the results of that particular code you need to run it so eclipse ide is one of the mostly used editor eclipse uh, integrated development environment ide stands for so it looks like an editor guys where you can write your programming code you can run it you can get the results and all the stuff and it's not so much simple but uh, advanced one but easier one guys okay advanced at same time easier one when compared to other ides in the market so most of the people in the market or most of the community is actually using eclipse ide when compared to others though other ides are better than there are some ideas which are better than eclipse but i don't suggest uh, you to get started with those kind of advanced editors rather use something which most of the people in the market are using that is nothing but eclipse ide guys so so for eclipse ide something is required like you have, you have to learn sim you simply have to learn how to install it and how to use it right that's the only thing that you have to learn for that guys uh, this is a hyperlink where uh, reference url which i'll be providing in the description of this video from where you can learn how to install eclipse ide and how to use it and all those stuff this will be enough guys okay very simple one this will be enough for you to master this eclipse ide this is also a basic predict site okay i am not going to give any reference urls for the advanced predict sites now right this is not the right time so just only focus on basic predict sites that are required for learning or understanding selenium once you are good with those things at a high level at least okay then you are in a very good position to get started with the other tutorials which are on the way in this tutorial series guys so that's it guys thank you bye